Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Supreme KJ. I'm back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, this new build I found. Um, this build right here is just disgusting right now. <laughs> it's just straight up disgusting. Like, I've been, you know, just looking for a perfect build. Like, some build that can, like, fit me and my playstyle. Uh, at first I made a sharpshooter, and that sharpshooter is just OP. Like, once you get a uh, sharp um, jump shot creator on that build, like any on any sharpshooter build, you're straight. Like you can just go straight to the park. Like just get quick draw or hall of fame. That's the number one badge you need. And green machine and catch and shoot or like uh, flexible release, you're good. You can go straight to the park if you have a sharp. But um, this build right here is gonna take some getting, you no, know, getting some time. You know, just tweak it a little bit. You know, just trying to make the perfect build. So to make this perfect slash and build, this is what you're gonna have to do with it. Like you're gonna um you gotta have to make this build balance. You can't have everything slash and everything. Like you know, you gotta be smart with this build and use your attributes right. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna you know just tweak it so you can have an even amount of badges and stuff. So close close shot um ninety, that's very important. People saying that you don't need it, they're stupid. You really need it. <laughs> it's for like them really like really really close shots to the back like five to ten feet from the uh, basket those shots are gonna be you're gonna be needing those shots and you, you want to be making them so you don't sell so close shot driving light dri driving layup and driving dunk all those up standing dunk you're a guard you don't need it post hook same thing you're a guard you don't need it uh mid-range uh shot three-point shot and free throw all of those uh because you don't need to post fade with this build because you can be fast as hell you can get by any like you can get by anybody with this build and plus blow buys are stunned the game so you're not going to need a post fade so follow like every other thing i um did like with playmaking and defense and rebounding do everything i said and uh i went six five with this build because six seven just completely destroys it for this build to be all around and of course you're going to max your wingspan because when you max your wingspan a lot of people don't know this when you max your wingspan, it gives you more like different takeovers. So when you, if I had minimum wingspan, that um, lockdown badge would have just went away. I wouldn't have it if I had little arms. So when you max your arms, you get more takeovers. Like another build I made, I max my arms. I got glass cleaning takeover with a sharp. It doesn't make any sense, but I got the badge just because I maxed my arms. But I didn't max my arms on the sharp because who would do that? So for this badge, you're going to choose a sharp takeover because you're pretty much going to be a slasher uh, with this build. All around speed boosting, sharp shooting slasher. This build is not a sharp shooting slasher. It's just straight up a, you know, a all around slasher. But you get the sharp takeover, which makes you almost like a sharp shooting slasher. But better, you're faster, you have better just everything with this build all right so what you're gonna do with this build of course you're gonna make it 85 overall you're just make the build 85 overall. that's what we're gonna be starting with do not make it 99 overall so then here's the badges um ignore that uh clip or the badges on the side is I, I think I got one of my clips mixed up but don't worry about it all right so what you're gonna the badges you're gonna choose for this build is contact finisher goal, acrobat silver, giant slayer. Giant slayer is a really good build to have when you're a guard. So definitely use it. Fancy footwork is very good too. It's for them hop step dunk, you know them dunks that you can get past people and then finish into you know, like a, a contact dunk. So pretty much a hop step dunk and just all these badges are very important to have. Relentless finisher very important. Shooting badges catch and shoot on silver make sure you balance this out you don't need gold or hall of fame anything except quick draw um and flexible release that's a very good badge so on this one right here i was like i don't need range extender on silver and deep range that I, I don't really need it on silver either but quick draw on gold is very very important you need quick draw gold or hall of fame it doesn't matter see deep range data and range extender that i'm a slasher so i'm not gonna be shooting that deep and plus i have my sharp badge so i can get my takeover just slashing and actually you can get your takeover it's very easy to get your takeover in this game so playmaking badges ankle breaker quick first step and stop and go and gold handle for days gold handle for days is very important because your stamina is 
terrible. Like, your st the t stamina is terrible in this game. It's high handles on bronze. For the defensive badges, you're going to have all bronze badges to make your, def your defense balance. Intimidator, get it on bronze. You <laughs> just have the badge. You're going to be straight when you have the badge. Jump shot, just choose any jump shot. I chose Ray Allen because, um, actually, yeah, just choose any jump shot because I, one thing I like about this game is that you can choose any jump, like, you can choose any jumper as long as you have, like, like, quick draw and, like, um, you know, flexible release and, uh, green machine, you can have any jump shot you want. You don't have to, you know, listen to YouTubers saying this jump shot is goaded. No, you can have any jump shot you want. It's going to be the same thing. Like, you're going to be greening because you have green machine and you're going to be making your wires because you have flexible release. So, anyways, um, like I'm showing y'all a little bit of gameplay because I did not want to make this video very long because I just want to get straight to the point. This build is goaded. I'm grinding the build right now. Um, and this is straight up goaded. I love this build and I just needed a build for a 3v3 pro amber park. And this is the build I'm making so I can be goaded. <laughs> this build is just straight up goaded. No cap. Just, you don't have to have to make this build exactly like me, but... I mean, by that, you don't have to make it with long arms because you don't have to, you know, so you don't have to sacrifice your uh, your playmaking if you want to, you know, be faster with the ball or uh, just have that, you know, extra defensive takeover. Like, you don't need that. You can make this build however you want, but this is the best way and the most balanced way to make this build just so you can have that defense, the speed, you know, the shooting and, the, you know, the slashing ability. So... This is how I made this build and it's fine with me. Like I'm at 85 with him and it's just fine. It's OP. Like in my career you might not think this build is OP because my career is just straight up bullshit. There's no spacing in my career. You can, if you make this build at point guard, which I would do if depending on like, actually yeah, making this build at point guard might be better because you can call for ISO. It depends on like what do you, like what do you want to do. So. If you want to you know, ISO with this build, I would say make it a point guard. But shooting guard, um, I think you get um, like extra height, but it's, since this, I'm going to make the build 6'5 anyway. So shooting guard, point guard, it doesn't matter. You can pick. But like I said, I'm having fun on this build. You are too. If you know what you're doing, you're going to have fun on this build too. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. Supreme KJ out.